Hi everyone, here's the second half of the video on how to make the envelopes for the, the rectangle ones. I've written the instructions on them, but I thought I'd show you how I managed to get um, here to this point. Like you've got side one, two, three, and four, and on side um, one and three, you need to score, your score lines need to be the same, and on side one, uh, two and four they need to be the same so I'm just going to show you how to do that now the piece of paper I've got here is eight by eight inches and my first score is going to be four and three eighths oh, let's get my little score out so four and three eighths which is that mark just there and that's our first score line, making sure that our board's in. And then we will turn it right round to the other side and do that again. So on the opposite side to that one, so it's four and three eighths. This is for an envelope that will fit a card four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then for the second score line, we want three and five eighths, and that's the mark just after the half inch. So we'll line that up score that, turn, line it up at three and five eighths again, which is just there, and score. And that way you can see you've got your, your um, card size in the middle. We'll take our scissors and as before we'll just trim away the score lines. So, and it's still on the copy paper. I just find it's just so much, such a easy medium. I mean, gosh, the envelopes cost you practically next to nothing to make. And if you wanted to use, like I said, the um, lovely car, uh, um, oh my gosh, I've forgotten the name of the word. Our, our um, B and T papers, you know, feel free to but they're not something you can post because of the, the way that the envelope needs to be printed on by the machine. But, you know, it's still, you could still hand it out to somebody like that. And there is your four and three eighths, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch envelope, just there. So that's that one. Now for the other one, the card stock, this is my favourite size, which fits a 4 by 6 inch card, and it works the same principle. You have your two first scores and then your second scores. So one and three are the same, two and four are the same. So we'll start again. Now our paper measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Our first score line is um, four and seven eighths, which is that little one right here, just there. So we'll make our first score line. And we'll go right round to the opposite side, line it up at four and seven eighths and score again. And then we're going to turn it to our two make our short sides and they are both three and a half inches so that's one and there's our second one three and a half and if you can see carefully it actually lines up with this point here so that's all we do with our scoring on our board now same principle again just trim out those little pieces We've almost finished. So I'll have all the instructions um, up on my blog for you to see at, which is Coles's Crafty Corner .wordpress.com. If you'd like to visit and um, have a look at all the different sizes that I've worked out for you. So there is our. Um... Oh gosh, it's not great. I'm not very good at this today. Quite bad arthritis today, it's driving me crazy. There we go, and there's our 4 by 6 envelope, which is this one here.
as you can see. So yeah, so that is just those two there. I mean, if there was any other size you wanted, just um, leave me a message and I'll see what I can do to work out sizes to fit onto our scoreboard. You are limited with um, sizes when you're working with copy paper as it's a certain size, which is 11 and, 11 and, oh, I've forgotten. Let's have a squeeze. I know it's eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. Yes, yeah, so eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters, give or take a little bit. So that's what size copy paper is. Um, yeah, so you're just sort of limited in some of the sizes. If you need to go to something larger, you could buy just plain paper or um, use some of our beautiful papers to make your envelopes. Well, till next time, keep on creating and uh, I hope you like this video. Bye.